What is up guys and welcome to another episode of Down South Off-Road and Outdoor. Now you can see behind me we're doing a little things, uh, some things in the driveway with the cars and one of the things that we've been needing for a long time that I didn't have right now, Bella has an engine light on and I'm tired of always going to friends houses or AutoZone to, to get them to read a code so I have picked up our very own code reader. This is the Foxwell NT301. This thing is like 69 bucks on Amazon. Um, super, super affordable, but it's got some really neat functions. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys what you could get for less than $100. So stay tuned. All right, so let's get this thing opened up. Should be fairly easy. We've got a cable because one of the things this will allow you to do is actually hook this up to your laptop to um, print out any of your codes. So right off the bat, you can see really large buttons, easy to understand. Um, what's great about this thing is it doesn't take any batteries. As soon as you plug this into your vehicle, um, it'll power on. And so let's get the keys to the Jeep and see if we can find out what's going on with Bella. All right, guys, right off the bat, as soon as you open this thing up, one of the great things is this cord is super long. So I could technically plug this thing in and still be sitting in the driver's seat to use it. I'm not tethered to a super small um, cord. And so we're gonna be plugging this right here. Got a good connection. And you can see, boom, it powered up quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn the power to the on position. Now, this screen is super easy to read. Um, you see everything here. So the OBD2, that's where we're gonna find our code. Now, if you don't know what your code is, that's where that DC, DTC lookup is gonna come from. So that is actually gonna show us, um, and you move with these arrows. So DTC lookup would actually show us what um, the code could mean. So for right off the time being, let's just uh, let's just hit enter and see if it uh, finds anything. System status. Erase previously stored data from this test. I'm gonna say no. We're gonna read codes, stored codes, pending codes, or permanent codes. We're gonna do stored. Engine oil pressure sensor, switch high. So that is what's going on with our Jeep right now. So anybody watching this, uh, give me some thoughts in the comments. What do you think this could be? So let's exit out of here and see what P523 could be. Hold on. So we're going to back out. And let's go all the way back to We're going to exit the test. Let's go to that lookup. So this shows you where you can actually enter the codes to see what it would mean. So the code that we're looking for is 0523. So I'm gonna move over. So this is super cool. Now you don't have to be a genius to interpret. Okay. So it tells you the same thing. So now if I hit help, it's gonna tell low oil level or motor mechanical fault, open or short in the oil level sensor, faulty oil pressure sensor. Hmm. None of that sounds good. So I guess we're gonna be going to the garage, folks. But as you can see, man, this thing, 
I didn't even hesitate to read instructions. Um, it is just super easy to use for a layman. And um, I can actually take this thing now and take it into my laptop, hook it up through the USB here and get a printout of my codes. Um, so I'm super, super pumped with how easy this is to use and the price. So guys, if you see it, it is the Foxwell NT301, easiest of the industry. I'm gonna agree with that 100%. This code reader is so easy to use, so easy to see the screen. And I mean, yeah. And now we have it, 69 bucks guys, awesome. All right, guys, so I actually had to stop and, and change clothes and do adult things, but I was gonna just let you know, this thing was a lifesaver. Um, I checked the current price on Amazon. As of right now, this thing is only $55, and it diagnosed that we do need to change her oil pressure sensor. It's only a $50 part, not a big deal, but again, that saved me from having to go to the mechanic, get a diagnostic charge, and let them tell me what I needed. So check out the Foxwell NT301. Definitely worth the money. As always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff. And my travel schedule for work is almost done, so we should be hard and heavy doing some YouTube videos for you in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.